The experimental life energy meter has been designed to detect living energy and minimize the readings from non-living materials. Metal and other conductive objects increase the readings and need to be avoided. Recent discoveries into the behavior of evanescent waves have been applied to this problem with great success. It is now possible to filter out the waves component responsible for the conductive effect and at the same time amplify the life energy readings. Here's how it works. Waves from the life energy meter are projected upward into space. If a dielectric material is inserted in their path, the residual EM field is absorbed and reflected back from the refraction surface. The organotic field, however, is focused and continues on. First, we test a piece of aluminum foil directly on the experimental life energy meter. The reading is 9 on the times 1 scale. The hand reads 48. This is a ratio of 5. Next, we measure again, but this time we use an empty container. The foil reads 5 and the hand reads 52. This is a ratio of 10 on the times 100 scale. We now put the dielectric filter in place. For comparison, we test the foil on times 100 and the reading is 6. The hand, however, goes off the scale. Reducing the sensitivity to times 10 and retesting, the foil reads less than 1 and the hand reads 65. The ratio with the filter is then 108. Two water samples of different conductivity are measured directly on the meter. Sample 1 is 100 k ohms per inch and sample 2 is 20 k ohms per inch. Sample 2 reads 23% higher than sample 1 on the times 100 range. Using the filter and increasing the sensitivity to times 1000, the two samples read the same, proving that the effect of the solution conductivity has been completely removed. We perform the same foil and hand experiment with the larger external probe filter. On times 10, there is no noticeable movement of the needle with the foil. The actual reading on times 100 is 4. The hand reads 50. This gives a ratio of 125. Likewise, we confirm the water samples read a zero difference using the times 100 scale. If we compare the ability of the life meter to distinguish living from non-living, we can establish a quality factor based on our results. The amplifying filter provides up to a 25 times improvement using this method.